Hey, what is going on you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape and welcome to a brand new loot video for you all today. So today I bring you guys a special one. This was highly requested since day one of this series. Ladies and gentlemen, today I bring you loot from 1000 Abyssal Sire. Starting this video at 152 kill count overall, I was relatively new to this boss. Uh, I pretty much learned the mechanics when it came out and I did a few kills, but other than that I haven't been back to it in many, many years. So I wasn't really sure what to expect when starting this video. I definitely didn't think it would take as long as it did. But needless to say, uh, we did track all the kills from start to finish through the Ring of Wealth boss log. Also, you can just see them in the chat box. And on top of that, we also started with 2,000 Slayer points overall, which I did earn from my previous Slayer videos. Uh, and I did think that that would be a decent amount for this whole video. But I was quickly proven wrong because the very first task that I did get assigned unfortunately took just about 1200 slayer points from me and to make matters worse when i did get assigned them i only got 150 so not that many and unfortunately when i finished this video i realized that i never unlocked uh, the ability to extend your abbey demon task you know get more assigned rather than less and to add another bullet on the list of me being inefficient at slayer i uh, did not use bracelets of slaughter during this video to extend the individual tasks so unfortunately i made a lot of mistakes coming into this video but all I can say is learn from my mistakes don't do the same thing if you want to camp a slayer boss or a slayer monster in general you know always bring those bracelets of slaughter and especially extend the task if you enjoy it whether you're an iron man or a normal account so with all that being said let's go ahead and get into today's video so we did start at 152 kc ending at 1152 I'm not too sure why my math was off on screen there and since it had been quite a while since I've killed this boss at the very beginning you're gonna see that I did die quite a bit and if you think that the clips of me dying is outrageous just know that this was only half of all of them so there was a lot more uh, times of me dying at this boss even at the very end as well and it's really just because of the mechanics of how this boss is you know there's a poison splat that seems to follow you a majority of the fight and that's usually what ends up killing me or I'll be at the last phase and all of the small minions will just stack up on me and I'll die because uh, I'll either not be hitting with my scythe or I'll I'll just be out of prayer and then protect from range goes away so the damage really adds up at that point. As it goes for the gear and the inventory for this video I was using a scythe instead of an arc light and that's just because I did not have any arc light charges uh, before this video started so I would recommend you to bring an arc light if you have charges if not a scythe is a great alternative as well as many different weapons out there just depending on what your budget is and what you have access to. For the inventory at the very start I was bringing a little bit of everything but towards the end I really did master the inventory part and I was just bringing three stamina potions, three range potions, and three super combat potions. Occasionally I would bring an angler fish if a kill was going too rough, you know, I might have to eat that. And if your kill is taking too long and you have to bring a little bit of prayer or super restores, there's no harm in that, you know, just as long as you get the kill. For me, since I'm 99 prayer and my DPS was so good, I rarely did run out of prayer points and for the very few occasions that I did, uh, those would usually be the times that I would die. So after every single kill, I would teleport directly back to my house and use the rejuvenation pool and get full special attack, full prayer points, and full HP again. And then I would just run to the west and then use my fairy ring and get back as soon as I could. And there would be occasions when you're banking or when you're just, you know, in your player own house for even the few seconds that it is, where another player will take your spot. And it's not really their fault, they just might not have seen you there beforehand. Sometimes people log in at the wrong time. So there were occasions like that, uh, that I accidentally crashed people and other people crashed me. It's all good though, a lot of players online, so it happens. At this point I was just about 150 KC into the 1000 goal and I just finished my very first task of the video and unfortunately we were unable to get an unsire drop which is the main rare that you can get from the sire boss and it's only a 1 in 100 drop but if you are lucky enough to get it which for my first task I wasn't then all you have to do is use it at the font of consumption behind the overseer to get a chance at obtaining the abyssal whip the dagger, the abyssal head, the jar of miasma, and of course the untradeable parts of the abyssal bludgeon, the axon, the claw, and the spine. And you also have a very small chance at getting the pet, which is called the abyssal orphan. So there are a lot of great rewards that you can potentially get if you're lucky enough to get an unsire drop. And that obviously was the main goal for this video, you know, kill 1000 abyssal sire and see how many unsires we can get overall. And of course the normal loot, you know, we're gonna price check all of that at the very end. But 
yeah, my luck at the very start was just awful. I had to go do some more Slayer Point boosting. After the first task, I gained just roughly 1,000 extra points on top of the 2,000 that I started with. And uh, I had to go through 1,500 Slayer Points, uh, and I still didn't have the task, so I had to go back to Slayer Point boosting. Uh, I received a 450-point bonus, bringing the total Slayer Point amount up to 1,200 once again. So I made my way back up to Duradel, and I was attempting to get the second task for the video. Video, and we finally did got 144 this time six less than last time a reminder to extend it if you're able to and yeah it took like what 2,000 to 2,500 points total just to get that second task not gonna lie I was really demotivated while doing this and I think you guys can see the proof is in the picture you know that's why this took so long to get uploaded it just seemed to be at the very start anyway everything that could go wrong was going wrong poor preparation honestly on my part as well but it will get better you know when I started it was rough but I can assure you guys by the end of this video by the time we get to that price check you guys are gonna be very satisfied that's all I will say no spoilers or anything and as it goes for the drop tab you know that was adding up over the course of the video as well and the drop table on sire just talking about the normal drops not talking about the rares is pretty decent you know even for iron min accounts and mains uh, it's really nice alkables there's a lot of battle stabs a lot of mystic stabs rune items a lot of runes herbs some seeds they're not that expensive but some of them are as it goes for the materials you know you can get coal a lot of earth orbs which are great for crafting pure essence which is dropped in amounts of 600 so really good for rune crafting well for anyone who still rune crafts that way a lot of magic logs uh, rune ore onyx bolt tips rune bars but we can't forget about that top dog the unsired finally receiving our very first one just shy of our 300th kill in the video so let's go ahead and use it and let's see what we get as mentioned before for a lot of possibilities here and our very first item is a bludgeon piece so it looks like we need two more in order to complete the bludgeon which is actually one of the best things you can get here especially for you ironman accounts out there also kind of a side note but if you guys have had incredible luck at abyssal sire feel free to leave it in the comment section below i am curious to see anyone who's had uh, really good luck here or actually really bad luck that might be fascinating too so many days later we now had two overall tasks completed ready to go go ahead and get our third and we had a lot of slayer points to spare still so after a quick run at jad i did get back as soon as i could and only had to spend just shy of 300 slayer points this time around and i did receive 141 abyssal demons so yeah that will be our third task of the video got an unsired on our second nothing on our first but i was a little bit more optimistic at this point and i wasn't dying as much so that was good you know it's much more bearable to kill a boss when you're not dying every five kills or so i did receive a pretty strange drop though i did get two rune spears which is a one in six thousand drop rate uh because i didn't have a ring of wealth on if i did have a ring of wealth on i think it would have been a one in seventeen hundred either way though it's pretty rare definitely more rare than this drop our second unsired we're gonna use it right away see what we can get this time last time we got our first bludgeon piece and this second time we receive our second bludgeon piece so we are on the right track now that's awesome to see two out of three if we do manage to get one more piece we'll be 31 mil richer so hopefully we are able to get that looking at that nice tab and making our way back to sire we did receive another elite clue scroll this was the second one of this video i didn't really touch too much on elites but the abyssal sire does have them on the drop table as a 1 in 180 drop uh, if you do somehow get lucky enough to get assigned a konar slayer sire task then you can get brimstone keys from this as well at 1 in 50 so it's a pretty good task to get there and 20 kills later we did get our third elite clue of the vid and I had actually died when I got that so it was nice to see when I got back and a little bit of history on the abyssal sire it was released into the game October 1st 2015 the combat level is 350 and the size of it is a 6x6 so that is another reason why the scythe works pretty well here and with that being said that is another task complete still got a decent amount of slayer points currently at 720 so let's see how long it takes in order to get our next one it looks like it's just over 100 so luckily Luckily, we got that one assigned pretty quickly. And even though we were almost at the halfway point, 500 kills or so into the video, I was still dying even at this point. And I gotta be honest with you, you know, compared to other Slayer boss monsters, I would say Sire is much more difficult than the rest of them. And I'm sure there's people who would disagree with that. You know, I guess it's more of an opinion than anything. I mean, there is actually someone in the game who has 11,386 Abyssal Sire KC, and you know, his username's actually Abyssal Sire, so he's probably pretty into this thing you know
know, I'm sure he's mastered this a long time ago, but it's just crazy the uh, dedication that some people have. There's actually over three people with over 10,000 kill count here. Could you imagine? I mean, it's crazy when people leave a comment saying a thousand of this is impressive, but then you have someone do like 10,000 or 100,000 of it, and it just brings it to a whole nother level. So yeah, shout out to anyone who camps this boss. I envy you. I, I really don't like this thing. I didn't like it at the start. I didn't really even like it at the end, so I really do have a lot of respect for anyone who has the time and the patience to stick with this monster. It just feels more repetitive than it should, I guess. You know, maybe it's all the clicking that you have to do, all the rotating, all the running. I'm not too sure, but whatever it is, it really does make it a, a not enjoyable monster to kill compared to other loot videos that I've done in the past. And after spending just about 300 Slayer points for our next Abyssal Demon task, we were rewarded with, yet again, another Elite Clue Scroll, so I will take that. Another one for the Bank tab. And just as we were reaching the 700k C mark in the video, we were rewarded with yet again another Unsired. So yeah, the hopes were getting high for this one. I really wanted to complete that bludgeon, and I was actually thinking about it in the moment. Man, when am I going to be able to complete this thing? So on my way to the pool, and we would of course also be on the Iron Man. Shout out to the Iron Man, killing those Ankus. And here we go, using the Unsired, and what are we going to get? 3, 2, 1, just a whip. That is unfortunate. Well, you know what? It's something. It, it's another drop for the video. It'll add to the price check. How much is it worth? 2.6, rounded up to 2.7. Hey, my two favorite words in the world other than touchdown. Not bad. Not bad at all. So we'll take that. And as you can see, the tab is growing quite a bit. Four elite caskets, uh, two hard caskets. I'm, no, I'm not too sure where those two hard caskets came from. But yeah, anyway, a lot of elites, a lot of drops overall, a lot of unsired. The uh, optimism was high. Always nice to save those elite caskets for the end of the video. You know, it's actually what I wanted to do with the unsired when I got my very first unsired drop. I wanted to bank them all and use them all at the end, but I, you know, of course you can't do that. You have to use them as soon as you get them. You can't even bank it. That's unfortunate, but yeah, at least we had the caskets to look forward to. But overall, we were just uh, really adding up these kills, trying our very best to finish it. Uh, this video took me a little bit longer than it should have because I did take a break uh, probably about midway in, 600, 700 kills in, and I did do that Revenant video. I really wanted to just get away from Sire because I just, I don't know, it, it reminded me a lot of Vorkath, you know, I just did not enjoy it. Uh, you, you can't enjoy every monster you do. You can't enjoy every skill. You know, you're always going to have something you dislike. And I guess Sire is just right up there with Vedion and Callisto. I'm just not a huge fan of it. So yeah, I do apologize that this video took so long to get out, but you can't just blame me. You got to blame Duradel too. He was pretty uh, unfair to us. However, I will give him credit for this one moment. He did give me a back-to-back -back task. So shout out to Duradel. Thank you. Finally pulling through. And shortly after we started on the task again, I did have to go recharge my scythe, which means that I had to use quite a bit of blood runes. I'm not too sure how much. I think in total, it was probably close to 30 to 35,000 blood runes this whole video, just for the scythe, so pretty expensive. But anyway, it's definitely worth it for moments like this. Getting that on Sire drop, here we go. What are we going to get this time? That is exactly what I wanted to see. The third and final piece of the Abyssal Bludgeon, making us 31 mil richer. That is incredible. Incredible. Got it at the very start of the video, you know, getting that very first piece. And now towards the end, we finally have all the three pieces. So we are going to bring all of them back to the Overseer using the Fairy Ring code DIP and hand them over and they will make it for us. So yeah, hands it right on back and uh, basically a lot of dialogue after. You can ignore that. Price checking it, it looks like it's 30.8 mil. So rounding up, it's just about 31 mil added to the price check. Extremely helpful. Tab was looking so nice at this point. I mean, just in coin drops alone, we almost had 3.4 mil, so that's just incredible. As you can see at the bottom of the screen there, that KC looking so clean at 1,000 overall. And just two kills later, we got another unsired. Very unexpected. I mean, I finished the bludgeon, I got a whip, I was just thinking, alright, what's what's left, you know? Another bludgeon piece? Okay, I'll take it, no worries. I was really just trying to finish the video, I wasn't really expecting to get any more drops. But a long time ago, I'm sure, someone once said, expect the unexpected. And there it is, another unsired, 72 kills later, another one, and might I say the last one for this video. What could we possibly get this to- Well, we got the pet baby, that abyssal orphan. What are we gonna name it? Who the hell cares? 
we got the pet finally another pet in this loot series when was the last one what was it it was either scotizo in the uh, abby demon video or it was chaos ellie in the chaos ellie uh, whatever the point is we finally got a pet i know i gotta tone it down i apologize well woosa woosa we'll bring it down a few levels but yeah we just went ahead and put it in the house you know didn't want to insure it because i don't even let my pets leave the house anyway so they're safe all the time and uh yeah we finished that task we went to go get our next one unfortunately we only had like 300 slayer points left so i knew that i was most likely gonna have to point boost for this last one which was really unfortunate because i only had like 40 left to kill or something very small like that and you guys would have seen this video yesterday had i actually used bracelets of slaughter like i should have in the very beginning so you know live and learn we gotta keep on keeping on just boost some more do some more jad tasks get some more fire capes i even had to do a zolra task i mean i was just doing everything in order to get the uh the next and the final uh abby demon task and you know i did get some lucky breaks where i you know get like a point boost of ankus or something small and fast to where i could earn slayer points pretty quickly but unfortunately the very last task that i needed to get a boost was uh neck reels and that took me like at least an hour so that was really annoying and finally after i'd say maybe four or five hours of boosting we did receive our final and our biggest ironically um abby demon task 190 abyssal demons and of course we would head right back on to sire it's nearing the end of the video but you know we're still dying either way and uh yeah finally here we are if I had a nickel for every time I said the word finally in this video, a loot from 1,000 Abyssal Sire has been completed. And for more reasons than one, this was the longest loot video yet, so if you guys enjoyed it, I almost never ever ask you guys for likes, feel free to like the video. Unless you're on dead man mode, then pay attention. But yeah, looking at the collection log there, we had the pet, all the bludgeon pieces, a whip. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get the jar, but that's completely fine. I wasn't really going for it anyway. Out of 1,000 kills, we did receive six unsired. So below the drop rate, but hey, I got no complaints on what I received. So let's go ahead and price check all of this, guys. We have just about 500 battle staves, uh, 10,000 laws, 5,000 bloods, and 9,000 cosmics and deaths. A small amount of seeds, but they're still worth picking up. Uh, dragon meds as well. I'm pretty sure those are a little rare. A lot of battle staves and mystic staves that'll contribute a lot to the price check. Tons of alkables. The very first price check being 27.7 mil. And now we move on to the second price check. This is all of the ore, the herbs, the onyx tips, all the useless and worthless talismans that I don't encourage you to pick up. Uh, 8,000 cannonballs and 4 mil just in coin drops. That is awesome. So that comes out to be 17.5 mil. So we add that to the 27.7 and it looks like just in normal drops we made 45.2 mil. Now we add on the whip and the bludgeon and that makes it an additional 33.5 mil. Thanks to our luck and we add those two numbers together and it looks like from loot from 1,000 Abyssal Sire we made 78.7 mil in total. And on top of that, we also received the pet as well as one extra bludgeon piece and six elite caskets. Just ignore what I'm typing on screen right now because I think I was sleep deprived and I, I just had no idea what I was saying. So yeah, the only thing that is important to mention is that we got a ton of soul rune drops, but we would use those soul rune drops to cast the shadow barrage at the very start of every single kill. So we really didn't make any money on those because we just reused them. Uh, but for anyone wondering, that's that. And we also got some food drops, but nothing too crazy, nothing noted or anything that we uh, should have banked or anything like that. Looking at the elites, uh, one of them was above average, but it looks like the rest are all just basically average. Uh, did get a master clue. Unfortunately, I could not complete it. I don't have an angler set on my main still, so that was a little frustrating, but another 1.4 mil from the clues. Um, overall, tons of Slayer XP, range XP, strength XP all across the board. Collection logs almost complete. Uh, boss log clearly shows a thousand kills there. A lot of money was spent. If you're curious how much in total with all the blood rune from the scythe, all of the potions, all of the runes in general. On screen it says 5 to 7 mil. I think those numbers are more so closer to 10 to 15 mil. So, you know, not as much profit as shown on screen, but nevertheless we still made a lot and we still got that amazing pet. It was a long grind, it was a lot of deaths involved and a lot of stress involved, but we did it guys. Thank you so much for recommending it and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys also want to check out today's video's description, that GE tracker link, uh, it's really useful for anyone who wants to make money on old school and if you sign up with that link it actually benefits me a lot so make sure to check them out if you feel like it and if not that's okay too until next time guys thank you very much for watching mr no sleep out